Well over a year ago, this is in December of 2010, I had the honor of being appointed the first woman president of the University of Connecticut. <laughs> I never get tired of saying that. I never thought I'd be fortunate enough to lead such a fine, beautiful university. My parents, very poor growing up, were lucky to even attend a public university. So to lead such a strong university is very special to me. I am immensely proud to call UConn home, and for good reason. This is a university that has so many strengths. Intellectual innovation across nearly every discipline, faculty distinguished on the national and international stages, across fields, phenomenal students of so many varied interests, stellar athletic teams, superb service to our local communities, facilities that have grown leaps and bounds over the past decade from the start of the UConn 2000 program uh, through the extensive renovation projects that we see around us today, including our soon-to-be downtown store center. And most recently, of course, UConn's ranking among the top 20 public research universities in the United States. Our progress in becoming one of the leading public research universities in the world relies on four areas of focus, the first of which must be student success. As the number of applications rises, the selection process at UConn gets increasingly difficult, but the results keep getting better and better. The evolution of our student body is proof of just that. For instance, take this past fall's incoming class of UConn freshmen. 82% of these students ranked in the top 25% of their high school classes. Their SAT scores now average well above 1,200, higher than ever before. And they're increasingly diverse. As one of the top public universities in the country now, UConn is and should always be striving for great distinction in research, which is the second area of focus I want to bring to your attention today. I've already pointed out the need to build on our greatest strengths, and here at UConn, research is obviously one of them. Today, external research awards for our university and health center exceed $200 million, a significant increase in total research awards from just five years ago. We hear the news, I hope you hear the news, of UConn engineers, hydration experts, ecologists, linguists, all carrying out studies in a number of diverse subject areas. We have the resources and the intellectual capital here at UConn that it can help to contribute to the strength of this region now and into the future. We're eager to serve as the go-to institution for industry and entrepreneurs here in the Northeast. Partnering with them, we can build long-standing research relationships, collaborate on developing technology, establish thriving new businesses, and help to solve the critical challenges facing the citizens of Connecticut and the world. In short, when it comes to research and economic development, UConn is open for business. I've said before that a university of our size and our stature and our ambitions should have an endowment that reflects its strength and its excellence. Reaching the $1 billion mark, that's where we should be in terms of our endowment, uh, is not beyond the realm of the possible, and it's certainly in line with the endowments in place at other public universities of similar rank. Building our endowment to this level means having the capacity to offer excellent programs and services that will best serve our current and future student body. It will protect our university against the ups and downs inevitably that you see in the economy. In essence, having a growing endowment ensures our future excellence for the long term. Putting into words what UConn stands for, where we outshine our peers, and what makes us tick presents a valuable opportunity. When we articulate our unique brand promise, we effectively take the reins in showcasing our most exceptional strengths. We can actively reinforce what sets UConn apart and bring to light what attributes and accomplishments have perhaps gone unnoticed but deserve to be recognized. Now bear in mind that when I say brand, I'm not talking strictly about a tagline or a logo. Uh, we're a large, thriving, world-class university. We're at the top of our game. We're rich in history. We're brimming with promise. No single slogan or new showy graphic would ever convey all that we embody as an institution. Yet how we perceive ourselves and what we understand to be the essence of UConn can help transform how we present the university to the world. Let's not lose grasp of these two concepts, civility and diversity, as we march forward because we're not a proud university 
or a decent university unless we pr prioritize civility, tolerance, acceptance, and the great change that comes with building a truly multicultural community. Over the coming months, I look forward to working with many of you to turn your positive energy, your knowledge, and your dedication into further success and growth for our great university. Many thanks once again for a fabulous and inspiring year, and I'm sure I'll see you all before that, but looking forward to a great summer. Thank you.